In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use Photoshop and Illustrator and import and place things onto your sequence timeline, but then also be able to go back and make edits. That's one of the nice things of the Adobe Suite now, whereby everything works in tangent with one another. Now, before you dive into Photoshop and Illustrator, one thing that I'd strongly encourage you to do is when you're looking at your Premiere sequence, I would right click on the sequence and take a look at the properties. Under the properties, you can make a note of the overall size of the sequence here if you want to try to work from a screen design standpoint. So you can see here for this example, I'm 1280 by 720 for the file size. So let me go ahead here and just talk a little bit about what I did. So the first item that I have is an illustrator here. I just did a little example AI, have a box here, I have a couple of layers, and I also did some painting with the paintbrush. Likewise, in Photoshop, I just made a flower on a PSD document. Now I'm going to leave these two open while I demonstrate here, but what I can do now is I can right click in my project area and choose import. Notice now that both the AI and the PSD documents for Photoshop and Illustrator are recognized by Premiere. I can click and select each of those and say open. Premiere will think for a second and want to import each of your documents here. So you have several options. Normally what you will want to do is just merge all your layers. So here for example it's referencing that Photoshop document. You can see that it's looking at the shape in the background. I'm going to tell it OK. And now you can see both of my elements have now appeared. I can now click and drag onto the timeline. And just like other elements here, I can double click and reposition as far as the size goes. The bounding box does change a little bit as far as the design goes. The reason being is whenever you set up an Adobe Photoshop or an Adobe Illustrator file, it goes through and it is going to bound to the edge of your object. This actually gives me some flexibility here that I can actually come in and place both of my objects simultaneously on my scene here. Just like their graphical counterparts, I can now come in and extend these out so they're present through the entire video. Some things to note whenever you're previewing though as far as whenever you're looking at what you imported from Photoshop and or Illustrator. Notice at the top here on the timeline you have a yellow bar. This means that it hasn't been rendered out yet. So as you preview you might get some pixelation showing through as far as your different graphics are concerned. Notice however I did not actually add any text to these elements here. It is up to you if you wanted to have a specific text element set in place. However, in later examples of Premiere, Premiere has now come a long way with the type tool that you could add in text as needed on these if you'd like to. But here is kind of the big thing with Photoshop and Illustrator. Let me go ahead and come back into my Illustrator file. And let's say I decide, you know what, I need more vines and they also actually so I'll go ahead and draw some more in here. But what I also want is I actually want to have them be different colors as well. So I'll come in here, we'll kind of have some overlap, kind of get that going on there. And I also have changed my mind. This inner portion here as far as the print is a little bit too much for me. So I'm going to go ahead and change that over there. And then I'm also going to come in and remove as far as the actual stylization is concerned. Well, actually, you know what? I'll leave that on. I can actually maybe instead we'll take down the opacity here, make it a little bit more see-through. Now, I'm still working in the AI file. If I just go ahead and do File Save, and let me go ahead now and jump back over to Premiere. If you watch, you might have to rewind the video here. It immediately updated what was in the scene with the changes that I made here. Likewise, I could come into Photoshop here and maybe I decide, you know what? I actually need an additional flower 
but I want to do a different type of flower and I also want to come in here and kind of put it up in this corner here. I also want to change the color a little bit. Change the pixel value of the stroke. If I just go ahead and do File, Save, and I come back into Premiere, you see how it automatically updates for you. This is probably one of the bigger powerhouses as far as working between the three programs here. Overall, I would advise you, uh, be careful when you're working between the three programs. I would maybe only have one or the other, depending on your computer's capabilities. And honestly, while yes, you can put the text in with your Photoshop or Illustrator document if you prefer as far as positioning, you can get the same exact effect by going in and also placing this directly onto in through Premiere as far as your text on top of the layer.